Hi, this is Josh McCumber. I'm here in Jacksonville, Florida at the Hate Golf Learning Center, home of the UNF Golfplex and McCumber Golf Academy. And I'm today going to talk to you about chipping. And what I like to even call it, even more so than chipping, is putting with loft. I don't think this gets enough attention in the game of golf for helping people become better chippers around the green. I once saw a clinic given by the great Raymond Floyd at a junior tournament. It was the most incredible clinic I ever seen. He is, he's known for one of the most the best short game players of all time with his imagination and his creativity. He gave this entire clinic about putting with loft. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take our same putting grip and stance and we're going to apply it to a pitching wedge, a 9 iron, 8 iron, 7 iron. He even talked about all the way down to even a 4 iron if he had a little bit of fringe to go over and need to chip it all the way across the green. It makes things very, very easy for us. It's the same stroke and it really will create consistency, helps us not be as wristy, and it allows us to get the ball onto the green and rolling. So I'll now demonstrate with an eight iron, just hitting some putts with loft to let the ball land on the green and then roll to the hole. And this is a great drill for you to work on with different clubs in your bag so that you can get the feel for, okay, how far does an eight iron roll? And now I'll do it. All I'm thinking about is getting in my putting stance and I want to just rock my shoulders like I would in a putting stroke. Another great thing that you can do that I'll demonstrate right now as well is if you have a practice area where there's not a lot of fringe, like right here we're in a small little area, you can then take a club. So I have an 8-iron. You can then take your 8-iron and you can put your 8-iron down and you can almost mimic making the fringe a little bit longer. Then you pick up your pitching wedge or your 9-iron and then your goal is to chip it and fly it over your 8-iron and then have it roll to the hole. And so you can carry that out a little bit closer to even where you hit a sand wedge. Again, the same thing. You're going to putt with loft. It's going to fly a little bit farther, land over your made up fringe and roll to the hole. I think if you can work on this and spend time doing this, it's going to do two things for you. It's going to improve your touch and feel. It's actually going to make your putting better because you're getting to work on your putting stroke while you